every study that has been critically appraised in summary can then undergo data extraction. And we do so by selecting the extraction pane from the top. Studies that are ready to be data extracted will appear here and will have a blue start button. If I click on the start button, I will be asked once started, the extraction record can only be updated by the person who started the extraction record. Do I wish to proceed? I'll click confirm. If you want to make sure that the data extraction is being undertaken by the right person, this needs to be discussed by everyone involved in the current summary project. Once I'm here, I'll be asked a series of questions related to the demographics of the study itself. So as you can see here, we've got information regarding the country, what was the setting or the context uh, in which this study was involved? What are the participant characteristics? What were their, their age groups? What were their uh, comorbidities if present? We can then include our groups. Now, in most cases, our groups might simply be our uh, intervention versus our control. So I can do this here. So our first group is intervention and our second group is control. In some studies, you may have a third group or, or from a three-arm trial. So this could just be uh, intervention two. I can then put information about what outcomes were measured. So, for example, in, in, in most systematic reviews, we would have our benefits and our beneficial outcomes and our harms. Now, I would obviously go and provide a little bit more detail as to what these were. So, benefits could be something such as decreased um, mortality. And our harms could be something such as adverse events. These are pure, purely examples as to what the outcomes could be measured. Now, in our description of our main results, what we're looking for here is just a very brief description as to what was shown in the primary study for each of our benefits or harms or the other outcomes that could have potentially be measured. Now, this is purely a narrative description as to what was decided. When it comes to inputting the raw data used for meta-analysis, we would do that under the synthesis tab, and that will be the subject of our next video.